Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to episode number six of Playing With House Money present Who Pissed Off Pro The Recap. I'm your boy Iceman, head of the SGC, and with me today, as always, is the continually, curmudgeonly DJ Pru. How are you today, my guy? I'm doing good. I'm glad that I have a human thesaurus with me before we do this thing. I'm learning new things about myself I didn't even know existed. So um, happy to be here. Just uh, wish it was under other circumstances, you know, like always, I guess would be our, our best way to say it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the from it wasn't the greatest weekend we've ever had uh, bet wise. We, we kind of made up for it on Monday. Or I say that the SGC made up for it on you. Monday. Yeah, you. We made up for it on Monday. We, we hit on Monday. We hit a little uh, couple on Wednesday. So we, we had enough to, to pull us back and, and kind of see us through. But yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and probably include Thursday in that last week were were not ideal um, under it, you know any any sense. So why don't you tell us the main culprits for that? All of the NBA, but I'll get specific for people. But I mean, Jesus, man, I with I didn't think I would miss I didn't think I would miss football as much as I am right now, or like even, I guess I would say just a lot of things to bet on that weren't just the NBA. Um, because man, I don't know. I, it, I don't know. I, it's almost to a point where I have to just do straight bets with the NBA at this point um, and start being a little bit more responsible with, with my money and our, and our, and our, and our subs money. And, and you know, anybody that's following us, but um, the NBA has been brutal for not only us, for everyone. And I think I can say this every week. I think I have said it every week, but um, it's to a point where you just, you don't really know what to expect. You don't really know what opportunities you're going to even have for four quarters with this, with this sport right now. And I think it's funny that I saw earlier today that there's a committee in the NBA um, going to, to kind of try to figure out a way to make, the league more competitive and make offense just not have it as easy as they do. And I just think that's ironic that, you know, we've all been screaming this at the top of our lungs about the blowouts about, you know, no defense. And I just think it's ironic that now it's going to come along when, you know, after the books clean house. So um, I think it, first off, I have been pissing myself off by putting in trust in athletes that continuously show me that I probably should not, you know, and that, and Hey, you know, a clock, a, a broken clock strikes, strikes right twice a day, you know, every, every day anyway, but that's what they say. I'll start it with, I'll start it with a guy that's near and dear to my gambling heart. And that's Mikel Bridges. I had Mikel Bridges in four plays over the last seven days. Um, he went green zero times. Um, and it's always in like a four leg or a six leg that just is just pacing. And the man will start the first quarter for his team and he'll get you six to eight quick points. And actually, I even had a time in the Discord the other day, he scored six points right out of the gate. And I go, oh man, it might be Mikel's night. He finished that game with under 20 points. He ended up shooting like 20% from the field. Um, made me look like a complete doofus. And just... Uh, it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't know what we're getting out of these NBA athletes anymore to a point where we're going to watch Cam Thomas shoot the Nets out of the game for three more quarters after Mikel Bridges just started two for three and, and, and two free throws. It, it, what, are we, what are you doing, Mikel? You go from Phoenix, you want to be the guy, you know, last year, late last year, or even to start this year, you want to be the guy. And now we're just, we're letting Cam Thomas, a guy that's been fighting for, he was fighting for minutes to start the damn year. And he's, it's just his team now. We're just going to take off three and a half quarters. I can't keep doing it, Mikel. I can't. I can't. It's we're bridging the gap of my idiocy and your ability to play basketball. It's just not going to work with me anymore. I just can't. He's he's probably culprit number one because I keep going back to it. It's like it's like Denzel Washington. Remember the Titans? Like oh, it's like Novocaine. It's six plays. It's gonna you know just give it time. It's gonna. It, I have no more time, Mikel. I'm I'm in a coma. I have no more time. I can't do it. Okay, so we're just gonna start with him and. And, you know, a couple of these other guys that I'm going to mention, I, like I said, I'm more so mad at myself at this point for the trust. Okay, I get it. 
But like I said, with everybody, I keep telling everybody, I don't really pregame gamble the NBA. I did Tuesday night, went Monday night. I did Monday night, and um, yeah, no, it's not for me. It's not for me. And we had a good, good, good couple calls. It's just not for me because you don't know. We think we think one game is going to be the blowout. It turns out to be like the complete opposite game. That would be the blow. It's like, what what is going on? We can't call it. So a lot of these guys that I'm going to mention, I know I'm an idiot. Okay. Nobody needs to mention how stupid I am for betting these guys. I get it. But these are live bets. Okay. We have to remember these are live bets. It's the circumstance of where they've been getting bet. We had it the other night. It was one of those nights where it was Monday, actually, before the SGC. It was right right when the SGC got us right with the sweep. Granted, uh, first, hats off to the SGC on that one. Incredible Monday. Um, and thank you. You literally brought us back above water for the week. That was it. But we're looking at the NBA. All of us are in the chat. You know, we're going back and forth like, man, you know, we, we got to get one on them. They've been getting down us on the NBA. We, we need to win this and that. And I go, you know, I'm going to win one tonight. We're, we're going to do this tonight. I'm looking at the damn box scores. We got four games. They're all going. Um, and it was like right at the back end of the second game because the fourth game had just started. So the way that they do the time frames kind of lines up pretty well. And I do like that for live betting, I will say, but then it kind of gets me, you know, I kind of start yeah. reaching a little bit. We're in the first yeah. quarter of the Kings game. We're in the first quarter of the Kings game. And I'm looking at the box score and I'm like, man, there's no, there's not really value on, on the guys that we typically would take. I know Fox did end up in the play for, I think it was over 25 and a half. He ended up smoking that. Um, and it was like, there was no, on, on DraftKings, if anybody doesn't know, you can do assists, rebounds, threes. They just don't let you do the alts. FanDuel will only do like really points. Like you can do points and, and threes. That's about it um, for SGPs. So it's, I'm looking at it and I'm like, man, you know, sometimes we catch some value on a guy that has a low line still, but he has, he's already about halfway there. So I was looking at the rebounds and Trey Lyles has two boards. And I'm talking, man, it's early. It's, it's early. It, it was so early that I was actually shocked he was even in the game long enough to get the two boards already. Cause he obviously he doesn't start. Um, and then, and then I see why his line was still only at four and a half uh, because the rest of the game, Trey Lyles, I mean, I, I don't know what you did, bro. I don't know what you were. I don't know if you were standing at the three point line. I know you like to do that every once in a while. You know, you're a, you know, you're a light skin point point forward. You know, I know you guys don't like going in the hole and, and banging for boards every once in a while, but it was, it, it, it came to a point I'm looking at halftime and I'm like, is, is he in the game? Like, is he playing? I'm looking at his minutes like, yeah, he's, he's playing. Um, what's going on? And then I see the third board. I need four and a half. I need four. I need four and a half. I need five rebounds in this live bet. And it's everything else is just pacing beautifully. And I'm like, okay, he gets the third. He gets a fourth. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, wait. We got some We got some legs here because I needed the Keegan, Murray third, the Keegan Murray fourth three. Everything was going well. Keegan gets the fourth three. And then I look at the boards again and they – Stat corrected. Lyles, his rebound. He's back at three. And I'm like, oh, motherfucker, he's going to finish. And we had plenty of time in this. Plenty. I'm like, he's going to get me one one board short now. I know he is. Sure as hell. I'm looking at, I ended up pulling the game up because I'm out when I put this in. I'm looking, I pull the game up. The man lets Monk grab a board, like right from him, right in the paint. Like, I mean, just like, uh, like one of those. He looked over and he's like, oh, yeah, you, you need this? You, you need this rebound? Like, just come grab it. You can just run the fast break right off. Just don't bother. I'm not even going to bother grabbing it. I'm not even going to bother grabbing it. Fuck DJ. He doesn't need He doesn't need the money. He doesn't need the money. The SGC just got him right. He doesn't need the money. Monk comes and grabs the rebound. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. He ends up finishing with, with, with four rebounds. And it was a plus 1,600. Almost, I think almost everybody that was in my channel jumped on that because I was literally just like, I got to get one today. I got to get one today. So, yeah, I bet Trey Lyle's like a dumbass. So I'm pissed off at myself and I'm pissed off at his effort because that's ridiculous. And then also screw the damn stat corrections. Whoever does that shit, I, I don't know like what kind of inside guy that they have do those, but like, it's not a coincidence. Why do we never see a stat correction on like the other way? anybody though? Like somebody that's not even offered by the books. You know what I mean? You'll see like, 
some random guy, third string, get in, and he'll hit three threes. You couldn't even bet him. But the day that you can bet him for 10 points, they want to stack. They are three assists. They want to stack correct him for two of the assists he gets. He finishes with one. It's like, what are we doing here? What are we? That, that's gotten me a few times. But like I said, joke's on me. I'm betting on Trey Lyles. It's, and then let's just, we can even go back to the same night. That's how, this is how crazy my, my brain has gotten me this week. Because why am I doing this? Miami Heat. Miami had half the damn roster injured. Okay. I, I, Miami might have had like 11 people suit up on Monday. It was, it, it, they almost had Spolstra put his shorts on at this point. It's ridiculous. I'm like, you know what? We haven't seen Caleb Martin go off for one of those like playoff performances that he had late last year. And I'm like, man, you know, maybe he'll have a lot of opportunity. It's his show to run. No Jimmy, no Tyler. Um, Terry Rogier was even out. Like you got the backup out. Like, come on, we, we what are we doing? Caleb starts out fast, bro. I have Caleb. I had Caleb that whole night in everything. Almost, it felt like I did a two pregame bets. He was in. Luckily, he did. He did hit those. His lines were pretty low. Um, but we did a live bet. You know, you know me. I like to get. I like to start chasing. And uh, and Caleb Martin. I swear, I think he just checked out at twelve points. I think Caleb Martin scored twelve points and was like, "Well, there's my season average. Uh, that's going up a little bit. Let me just check out." And bro. It came to a point where it was like, it wasn't even missing attempts. He just wasn't out there. He just wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't. I don't even know what. I, seriously, I think he just checked out. Either he was gassed, he wasn't used to the minutes, or what the hell happened. But, bro, he completely screwed me. Two plays. He's the only red leg. Um, I needed 16. Um, as you know, he finished with 14 because fuck me. Um, so that messed up a, a plus 2,200. And a, and a plus 800. Um, and that one, I wasn't as bad at myself for playing him because he had the opportunity, he had the volume. He really should have been one of the main scorers for them outside of Bam Adebayo. Um, and I was heavy on Bam Adebayo that day for 25 plus, which was, I got way better odds for that than I thought we would. I don't really know why I kept staying in that game um, and looking at Caleb Martin. Um, so yeah, he pissed me off plenty, probably almost as much as I pissed myself off. Um, and then, yeah, I think just the sport of basketball itself has pissed me off beyond beyond ends or uh, to no end because it's like, you guys got to make up, you guys got to make up your minds. You guys got to make a decision here. What are we doing here? You got to make a, you got to make a decision. Are you guys going to play competitive basketball to a point where we're at least getting good offensive performances? Like, are we going to get anybody that wants to to be, you know, their team's Kobe? Like, we're not even seeing ball hogs. We're not seeing defense. We're not seeing ball hogs. And if we are seeing ball hogs, those ball hogs ain't making no damn shots. Okay. So I don't know what the hell the NBA, I don't know what agreement that we've all come to with the sports books of saying like, yeah, we'll just, we'll give you a 60% effort, make sure three out of the games are a blowout and that you guys don't get hit. And we'll just see you guys in playoffs. And then, you know, we'll go from there. I don't know what it, what it is, but I, where's MLB? MLB season, opening day. You're right around the corner. I am ready for you. Um, I just – I don't know about the NBA right now. Uh, it's not even so much that we're off on these calls either. The reads are there. I mean, it's – we're. I mean, we're talking – dude, we're getting guys that start two for two. They're finishing two for eight. I know we cracked the joke about Dame last week. Uh, I'm playing with house money, but – yeah, he's one of those guys. It's it's like the guys, the premier guys that you really expect to be able to show up and they're just not doing anything, absolutely anything. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's just pissing me off. The whole league is pissing me off. Shout out to the whole NBA for raising my blood pressure, taking years off my life and uh, giving me gray hairs because at this point I'm ready to rip my damn hair out. And uh, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's it's I can't even I will literally sit here and mumble on about how bad the NBA has been for us. Because I can go with any team. It could be any team. That's the most frustrating part. We had Milwaukee before the All-Star game. They were getting dog walked every night. Every night. Denver has gotten blown out multiple times this year. Yeah. The Lakers, that's the laugh. We're just going to keep them out of. If you're betting the Lakers still, I assume it's going to be D'Lo and or their opponent. Um, you don't know what the hell to call with them. But it's the whole NBA. And honestly, I need to be, I need to be stingier. 
with my money. I need to be stingier and I need to stop trusting guys the way that I do. Um, luckily, I don't have to mention Anthony Simons this week. He gets a pass. Um, but yeah, who pissed poor, who who pissed off Peru? Uh, Peru mainly. Um, and then yeah, all of the all of the the backup and or like secondary NBA guys that got plenty of opportunity last week that just completely shit the bed. So shout out the SGC and um, yeah, MLB. I'm ready. I'm impatiently waiting. <laughs> yeah, I think um, <clears throat> I think we all are, especially those people that just like you said are, are big bet in the NBA because there's just no no consistency to it at all. Um, it's consistently bad. Yeah, that's the only consistent. Yeah, consistently, consistently bad. bad. Like, <sighs> shout out Grady Dick though. That boy's balling. Shout out Grady Dick. That 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 kid is going off. Um, he's ter- he's one of those guys that's taking ad- advantage of his opportunity. Um, yeah, Obi Toppin is not one of them. And then shout out to my boy Emmanuel quickly for always holding me down. I don't think I'll mention him on here. I I, I love that guy so. Yeah, the NBA can go. That I, I don't even want to say what they can go do, but MLB, where are you at? Yeah, and uh, what we're last day of last day of February, so yeah. tomorrow you can say this month, right? Yeah, this month, uh, no love. Prue got no love in the in the in the love month. So hopefully that full moon, hopefully that full moon changed some things for me. Maybe that's what it was. I think that was just kind of you know the stars were not aligned for me. So. That's where that's where we're going with. We're we're taking that and running with it. Sounds good. And you can catch more of us. Catch more of what we're betting this week uh, later on this afternoon on playing with house money, uh, and then tomorrow, uh, yeah, back for another episode of the SGC. Hopefully, we continue where we left off on Monday. Um, but yeah, you know, let us know. Who... Wednesday. Don't take away yeah. from Wednesday. You got some green slips no, on Wednesday. It can't all be they can't all be sweeps of plus twenty two hundreds and shit. Don't don't be come on. We're keeping up from Monday. We're keeping up from Wednesday. It's every day with this guy. He's the fucking head of the yeah. SGC. I right. um yeah, let us know in the comments on Twitter who it is that pissed you off this week, who's made your uh bad beats list, who's on your no bet list moving forward. Is it the whole NBA like crew? Um, or have you just got some some guys that have uh, and I know, to your point, Mikael Bridges, the whole of the Brooklyn Nets have made my no bet list. None of just those. Saying that. Yeah, just saying yeah. that makes me sound even stupider. Like you're betting on the Brooklyn Nets, my guy. Yeah, Idiot. yeah. You know? so. Yeah, so they're on mine. Um, but yeah, you know, let us know who's on yours, and yeah, we'll catch you later on for playing with house money, and we'll see you next week. Yes, sir.